Rita Benson LeBlanc is part owner and also executive vice president of the New Orleans Saints. She happens to be ranked by Forbes magazine as one of the 10 most powerful women in pro sports, and she joins us this morning. Good morning, Rita. Good morning, Maggie. Let's talk a little bit about what Kelly just reported, that this game is not about football, or not just about football, but about showing New Orleans as a city of survivors. Is that the sense in the Saints organization? Absolutely. Um, the players talk about it as much as our employees as well, how the energy of the city fuels us. It fuels our life. And they showed the home opener. That was, that was just such a cataclysmic moment for us as far as coming back and, and achieving that. But the people of New Orleans have saved themselves. Uh, we might be the most high profile company, but we're just showcasing what everyone else has gone through to rebuild, to work hard. And it's taken five years to build this team. And so this is a fantastic just reward for all the work, all the hard work that we've been doing, both in the city but also with the football team. You're humble, but you should take a, a lot of credit for rebuilding New Orleans because after Hurricanes Katrina and Rita, you were instrumental in bringing the team back to New Orleans and you vowed then not only to make it a winning team, but to help rebuild the Gulf South. And in fact, the team has played a huge part in that rebuilding. Absolutely. It's home to all of us. Um, it, it was an incredible tragedy and it's very painful to watch, but you know, when you go through bad things, it inspires you and it makes you so much more important as far as what is, what is key and what drives you in life. Uh, our music, our food, but absolutely Saints football. So we're tenacious, we're happy, we're professional celebrating in New Orleans and uh, the people have waited so long for this and I can hear fans in the background and <laughs> it, it's, uh, it's giving me chills and getting ready for game time because the fans are here and you can feel it all over Miami. And, and I think to have a symbol like the Super Bowl literally transform, transformed the city too because at one point it was a symbol of failure, the city sort of let down by its government and now it is all the opposite. Well, that's a tremendous undertaking and the, when I think about how many blue tarps were over in the entire city, I mean, yeah. FEMA, everyone, they did what they could do and people worked very, very hard. And, you know, here we are this far that we've rebuilt. We have an amazing city that's come back, best practices, uh, changing our political situation. We actually have elections this weekend. Ah, for big New weekend. Mayor. Very big <laughs> weekend for everything going on. But we have amazing investment going on. It's a great opportunity for people to come and live and uh, it's infectious. We've had so many volunteers from all over the country, all over the world to help us rebuild. And this is, a, this is a really big way to say thank you to all of them, is to put on the best game on the, the broadest audience possible. And I'm sure you will. Can I get a little who dat? Who dat? Who dat? <laughs> Rita, thank you, thank so, you so much. So much. All right.